highway of holiness unspotted which is gather they mention your name and God judge them immediately you know why you have become the apple of his eye God just loves you huh fear the man that God loves you and fear holy men fear holy men the people that the devil can cut off easily anybody who has one leg here and one leg there you you'll be living in that arrangement and be saying have mercy upon me Lord it's by your grace you know you'll be enjoying it the day that thrones will go to war you can be cut off easily holy men they are few I wait for the revival of deeper life again I'm not talking about the church is a revival of men who have prioritized their secret life above this physical thing. What we have currently is the physical life is more a priority than the spiritual life. I yearn for a time where an overflow will be spilling from people's depth from God. People's spiritual life will begin to flow out, will begin to stain their body. People will not be intending to pray and miracles will be happening everywhere. It is holiness that commands this dimension. It is that point where holy purity begins to leak from you. You are like a container that is too contained with purity. And so there's leakage. Somebody comes around you and begins to cry. You know what they are crying for? You didn't preach a sermon. There is leakage of purity. They stay around you. Small, they say, ah, and judge us. You didn't say anything. There is an air. It's called the fragrance. The fragrance of Christ. There is a beauty called the beauty of holiness. Only few men will work on that. Buy any makeup kit you want. Attend any makeup school. Sister, the day you touch the economy of that beauty of holiness, whether anybody told you you are looking good or not, you will be getting comments from angels all the time. When you wake up in the morning, there is a joy in your heart. That joy is the product of commendation from spirits. Spirits say you are up again. We celebrate you. Your kinds are rare. How did you keep your garment like this? How did you love God like this? What did we do to you that we didn't do to others? Suddenly you will find out that upon your inside, there is a yearning. You will sleep without praying and no spirit can touch you. You say, it is because I forgot to pray. That is why they pressed, they pressed you because you broke the edge. It is only those who broke the edge that the serpent can strike. You say, it is because of, I did not pray. That is why the devil took that breakthrough away. There are people here with near success syndrome. You will come near the palace, but you will never enter. Pharaoh's servant will tell Pharaoh about you. And Pharaoh will still not call you. The way out of any course. I want to show you a more excellent way this night. You either continue to go from one prayer house to another. And get an endless list of various diagnoses. As touching what is your perceived, your perceived predicament. Or enter the highway of holiness in that part everything is solved by a nature not a prayer point you don't pray for every installation of darkness to be uprooted from your life you don't pray for that you live into holiness freedom is a stature in the spirit you grow into freedom 